read where the number one business trend this year in 2015 is that organizations are rebranding. And boy, that's true for me. I'm getting calls right now from associations all over the country wanting me to do a program on how to help them rebrand. Yeah. So let's think about rebranding. That, that's a lot different than reinventing yourself because rebranding is really changing the perception that people have of you, right? Oh, me? So when I do the rebranding program, we come up with these four questions that I always ask. Who are you? What do you do? Who do you do it for? And what makes you different from the competition? The question right now that we really need to focus on is who do you do it for? Because the customer is changing. Who is your customer now? How does that customer receive information? And how can you be relevant to that customer? I think if we take this whole idea of rebranding and we just focus on one piece of the four questions, who is the customer? I think you're going to get a really good roadmap of how you too can begin to just tweak and alter your branding to attract that new customer. When you're going through the rebranding process, I want you to remember one thing. Just one thing. Don't change everything. You know that saying, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. <laughs> what I want you to do is I want you to think about Whoa. slowly and gradually tweaking some of the brand messaging that you're giving and try to get that to relate to that new customer. Do this and you'll be on your road to rebranding. Thanks. This is Karen McCullough with another lesson from the road.